Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, <clears throat> been kicking around the woods a uh, few hours anyway. Just taking a walk with the dog. Uh, still a lot of wild berries out. Came across some, uh, you know, blackberries. Not many raspberries left, but uh, there's a few. Seen some turkeys on the trail coming in as well. That was pretty neat. Uh, so, uh, black bear and gray squirrel open up on September 1st, and archery and you know turkey start on September 15th. So, right around the corner, I'm getting excited. This is my favorite time of year is the fall, so it's right around the corner. Uh, nights are starting to get cool again around here in the 60s, which is beautiful. Uh, even the mornings can be a little bit crisp still, uh, and that's, that's what I like. Makes for a better night's sleep, And you can appreciate opinion. a fire, you know, when it gets cool. Still kind of hot during the day to be sitting next to a fire, but uh, at night you can certainly enjoy it. Huh, bud? What's up? You wanna light the fire? Gonna get the fire going to cook our dinner on uh, for Sarge and I. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys some things that I've made that I'm pretty proud of. Nothing special, but uh, yeah, I've posted some pictures again on Instagram and whatnot. Uh, so for those of you that aren't on that, those social media platforms, I uh, figured I'd share these things with you as well. Uh, so the first one is the uh, cooks I made, and I actually did this on video. Actually, it may have been over a couple videos or something like that. But I did it at one of my longer courses up here uh, with students. You know, nighttime type stuff as far as the carving went. But uh, it's just the, the beaver carved in as the handle. Uh, it's pretty nice. Again, I like it. It's not uh, the greatest piece in the world, but, you know, I did it. It just makes you feel good, right? You make, make the things yourself. Uh, another thing I made also on video and again maybe over a couple videos as far as courses and things I've had you know just pro some projects that we do uh, is this white pine wood barrel bowl and this thing came out absolutely awesome this is probably my favorite piece um, just really cool works great uh, the other day we collected some of those berries uh, that we talked about earlier in this so it was pretty good for that just pull it out of your pack and you know forage a little bit that so came out pretty good uh, i have some couple recent ones that i've done actually like three but i can find it in here so uh one i did a fork i actually did a video on this as well so if you look on my channel it's there but uh it too came out very well uh, and it actually works great i've used this uh, a lot since then and i like it pretty well uh, more recently i made a couple spoons uh the smaller one probably what i'm going to keep in my pack uh, and use more often uh, and it came out pretty good you know a little on the smaller side but i think it's a little more functional and then uh, just the other day, I made this bigger one. And again, I've posted pictures on all this. But I just, you know, was on my front porch carving these things. You don't always have to be out here to do stuff like this. You know, you can practice anywhere. So uh, sometimes I just like to do that, you know. Grab some material when I can. Bring it home. And then while I'm sitting on the porch, you know, maybe enjoying a beer or something. Uh, just do some carving. 
Uh, but this came out nice as well. You can see it's pretty slim, which <clears throat> allows it to work well, you know. Uh, my buddy Mitch and I had a discussion about that. Um, you know, a lot of people like to dig these big, deep curves in their spoons, and I started out the same way, so I'm not pointing fingers necessarily, but uh, if you look at all your normal spoons that you use every day in your house, uh, they're more shallow designed, uh, and they work great, right? So no need for these big, you know, big scooped out spoons and stuff like that. But uh, this one, I put a, a scripture on it. You know, this is, this is mine. This is what I like. Uh, not everybody's into that stuff, and you know, I'll leave it at that. But <clears throat> certainly not trying to push anything on anyone. But uh, I added that to a couple of my pieces, you know, and I like it. That's a personal touch for me, you know. And then the last one I just finished yesterday, actually, was uh, the missing ingredient per se. It was a plate. So this thing came out pretty good. Uh, again, I, I added a scripture to it. It's my per personal thing, but uh, came out pretty daggum nice. Uh, the one thing that I did do, so you can see the finish on this. I've had a bunch of questions on what I do. So it's just vegetable oil. You know, I'll put a coat of that on, and then I'll burn it in, and then I'll add two more coats. Once you burn it in. It, uh, it soaks it right up. So I put, you know, another coat immediately after I'm done doing the burning. And then I'll wait till it dries and add the final one. But uh, I got a little carried away with the torch on this one. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Probably not because it's concaved anyway. But it uh, did warp just a little bit because it is pretty thin. But uh should work. It's only a plate, right? And uh, pre pretty fond of this piece as well, I think came out pretty well so uh yeah i just figure while i'm out getting the fire going about to cook up some supper for me and sarge uh, i'd show you guys that stuff uh ahead of time rather than answer a bunch of the same questions over and over uh in different videos so you, you may or, or may not see a, a lot more of this set uh, because i like it pretty well you know Getting some coals here and start cooking. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my bushcraft dinnerware. Again, because I've posted it, you know, pictures and stuff elsewhere, and you know, probably not everyone has seen it. So hope you enjoy that. Uh, hopefully, it inspires, you know, some folks to get out there and make some of their own stuff too. Uh, there's a lot of enjoyment in that, and then being able to use it, you know. So, yeah, appreciate you joining me for another one, and uh, hopefully we'll see, see you soon with another one.